was asked to convert one of these Bluetooth controllers into a PlayStation controller, um, the buyer effectively found this controller to be a bit awkward to use. Um, it's designed effectively to uh, put your PDA inside here and then use it via Bluetooth. Um, however, the buttons are a little bit clunky, not particularly easy to use, and he wanted something better. Um, so consequently, I've taken the PlayStation 1 controller and put the board inside. It's needed a fair bit of work to make it all fit. Uh, it was very, very snug. However, I did eventually manage to succeed. And this black finish, a little bit of metallic cover, I think that's really quite, quite special. Button placement. Open this up. There's a D-pad, of course, correlates to here. The four main buttons across there. There's only one start button. There's no select button here. Therefore, the two have been combined uh, on there, and by the same token, one left and one right shoulder button. So they've had to be joined forces here. The next video shows the controller working. The purpose of this video is to show when I press the buttons on the modified controller that it works via the Bluetooth to the computer on the keyboard test. If I use the D-pad first, press up, down, left and right, and then the other four main buttons, you see that everything is working fine. The start and select operate on the same button, because that's all there is with the Bluetooth, and the same with the two shoulder buttons. There you have it. I'll show it working a little bit more quicker. And the same on the other side. Thank you.